Well, this morning, while our power is a little bit low, I'm going to take a minute and install my new battery shelf that I built yesterday and get it in here with my other batteries, get it in place. And then the most exciting part is I'm going to install our brand new upgraded batteries. So this is the battery that we got. Uh, it's from a company called EcoWorthy, and they reached out to us, uh, talking to us about their batteries, and and they're actually reasonably priced, pretty pretty reasonable. So we decided to go ahead with it and get them here and and add to our battery bank. Right now we're running these silicate salt batteries, and then we have some lithiums on top of that and we're sitting somewhere around a capacity of i think we're right around 16 kilowatts total storage in our battery bank which isn't a ton but it's been sufficient for us and now we're getting to the point where even on these sunny days where by morning we're really low on the power we're not dead yet but it's real low and we're waiting for the sun to break over the mountain so we can make more power so we're going to add these batteries which is going to just about double our bank these are 12.8 volt 280 amp hour so combined i think we're looking at a total of like 13 i don't remember 1360 something like that we're looking at a pretty pretty sizable upgrade to our battery bank quite literally almost doubling our bank the cool thing with these batteries that i'm real excited for is they actually have a bluetooth app built into the battery management system so i can go onto my phone and once i connect to the batteries i get them stored into my profile i can just go on my phone and connect through bluetooth to the battery bank and see the current level the discharge all that kind of stuff and it's really pretty slick that's one of my favorite features about this i've been wondering why they've got the electronics inside for for these lithium batteries for the BMS I just I always thought man it shouldn't take much to put a little receiver in there for Wi-Fi or Bluetooth and I haven't seen the Wi-Fi one yet but the fact that these are Bluetooth at least gives me the ability to get in and check that power now if these battery banks were at my house that would be perfectly ideal I could just pull it up at any point and see exactly what the battery bank is since these are up at the shop it's a ways away that means that I still got to come up at least within range of the Bluetooth signal to be able to check them, but that's still a huge upgrade. In fact, right now I have only three of the batteries upstairs here. The other battery, the fourth one, is all the way outside in the back seat of my truck. And while upstairs here with the doors closed, I can still connect to it through my phone and connect to the battery in the truck. So it's that's a decent range. I mean, just beeline distance right here is 50 feet. And that's going through a couple of walls and, and into the truck and everything like that. So that's not bad at all. It's pretty great actually. So I'm pretty excited for these batteries. I've got a link in the description below for the, for the batteries. Uh, they have an online store through Amazon. Check them out. The company's called EcoWorthy. It's a pretty slick battery bank, a reasonable price. I'm excited for them. I'm excited to have double the power and I'm real excited for the Bluetooth capability on these things. It's just neat to be able to pull up the app at any time and see the battery state and health and condition. And that's a really neat feature for me. So uh, use the discount code. We've got a code in the description that should get you a discount on any products that you're after and check them out and see what you think. It's pretty cool.
new batteries are all connected up to each other. Those are ready to connect together. Okay, that is in. Those batteries were down around like 25 to 30% capacity when I hooked them up. And my silica batteries were charging while I was getting things worked out. So my silicate batteries were way up. They were up at like 85, 95%. And the small bank of lithiums, they were sitting right around that 50%. Now that I've got everything connected up, the three series battery banks connected up in parallel, feeding off of here, everything's gonna take a minute to kind of balance out between. So the extra voltage in the silicate ones are gonna balance out into the other two banks. And when I look on the, on the app and look at individual batteries, they're taking charge right now. They're charging somewhere around three, 400 watts each. That's what they're reading. So that's pretty good input right now. That means 1200 watts going into that bank. And I've got a total input right now of 2,500 watts. So if half of it's going in there, the rest is distributed between the others. So that's definitely taking it in really nicely. It's only like 1130 this morning. We've had a little bit of smoky haze outside. So it's going to take a minute for the solar to really take off and hit. But I suspect here within the next probably three hours, we'll be topped off fully on the whole bank. And this is going to bring us up to a total capacity of right in the neighborhood of 30 kilowatts. This is going to be a game changer for us because typically on a heavy use day, we're sitting somewhere in that 14 kilowatt use. So it's going to give us two days of runtime, which is a major, major upgrade. Thank you to EcoWorthy for sponsoring some of these batteries for me and checking it out. So go check out the link if see if it's anything that you'd be interested in. There's a discount code for anybody that's looking for any discount on what they want to buy. So hopefully that helps others out with trying to spend on this expensive off-grid stuff. <laughs>